Hello everyone, I'm Fenrir Moon of United Comic Universe. Of course you already know this, right? <laughs> Basically, the reason why I'm making this video to apologize to you guys for not putting up a proper video yesterday. The reason why I did put up a proper video yesterday is simply because my system crashed on me. I recorded the video, I was in the middle of editing the video, and then my whole system just crashed. And then when I rebooted it, my files were wiped. But that's not going to stop me from reshooting the video for you guys again. So please enjoy. United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures. We, we are, are comics. comics. Wanda, welcome home. Vision residents. Please note. Hydra have been unsubscribing UCU family members. These are some of the reports that I have been receiving from the United Comic Universe family members. So please check to see if you are still subscribed to the channel. Also share our videos to others so they can see how awesome and different our channel is. Also like up. Each like up is a morale boost to all that is in the fight to take down Hydra. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified on the upcoming comic news. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining us. Please tap that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the fight to take down Hydra. Kevin Feige described the series as a classic sitcom part Marvel epic. The series is combined with the footage from the previous MCU films featuring Maximoff and Vision with image from the Dick Van Dyke show and Father Knows Best. There are a few scenes is shown in the teaser trailer that backs this up. One of the scenes, Wanda looked like she had been teleported or went through a portal and landed on a movie set. And Vision came up to her like he was riding on a rolling tabletop and he was black and white. Wanda have a look on her face like what is going on? We see Vision look at her and say, Wanda, welcome home. Then it went back to Wanda, she is 1950 wife, Scarlet Witch of the 50s. <laughs> they are married in the 50s. Bethany called the series super avant garde and weird. While Olsen added that there will be plenty of comic books that support the characters appearing in a sitcom setting, which I think we might see Cap, Iron Man, Thor, maybe. We will see. The series is consisting of six episodes. Only six episodes? Why not eight or thirteen? Right? Yeah, I know y'all, but I got y'all. I got y'all. It's about those dollars, but in a good way. It has been reported that each episode worth $25 million to make. So let's do the math here. They spent $150 million on all six episodes. That's like a wow, because that is the type of money you spend. You hear me? You spend, y'all don't hear me, you spend on your fans, right? <laughs> Book writer Tim King indicated in October 2019 that his run on The Vision will be the inspiration for WandaVision, which is a great comic book series. Just in case, if you have not heard or read it, The Vision wants to be human. And what more human than family? He goes to the laboratory where he was created, where Ultron made or molded him into a weapon, where he first rebelled against his given destiny, where he first imaged that he could be more, that he could be good, that he could be a man, a normal or ordinary man. And he builds them a wife, Virginia, two teenage twins, Vin and Van. They look like him. They share his powers. They share his grand ambition or perhaps obsession of being ordinary. Behold the vision, the family next door, and they have the powers to kill us all. What possibly could go wrong? <laughs> this scene is showing more than inspiration about the comic, at least in my opinion anyway. It gives me that 90s sitcom feeling. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> what else do we see? We see two baby cribs. We all know who they are, right? Like in the comics, Vision have two kids, a boy and a girl. They are twins. But stay tuned, 
I will be doing a video on each of these comic book issues. It just make me so excited. I just, oh, too soon? Okay, what about you? <laughs> December 2019, Fage described the series as an opportunity to tell the story of Maximoff and Vision, show more than what Wanda can do, further explore who Vision is, and introduce the comic book name Scarlet Witch to the MCU in ways that are entirely fun, entirely funny, somewhat scary, and will have repercussion for the entire future of Phase 4 in the MCU. Let's not forget about the scene when Wanda is actually dressed like the Scarlet Witch. I'm not going to read too much into this scene. I'm thinking Kevin probably just put that in for the fans. Hey, look at it this way. It is a good way to bring in the name Scarlet Witch into the MCU. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love how we get to see the ins and outs of the timeline and see a side of Wanda we've never seen before in the MCU. One of the scenes possibly going to be taking place in the 1970s. It kind of gave me that feel of that Brady Bunch show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. A brother used to watch that show back in the day. <laughs> Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. <laughs> one of the things I didn't see was the Salem timeline. You went Wanda and Agnes together. And one more thing I want to point out, Vision Forehead. Is that the Mind Gem or the Solar Jewel? So please leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about that, and also tune in. I'll be doing a video on Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Loki. I know you don't want to miss that, right? WandaVision is expected to debut in 2020 on Disney Plus and will be consistent of six episodes to be released weekly rather than all at once. This series was originally to be released in the early 2021. This is going to be so much fun to watch, right? Go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button. And while you're down there, go right over a little bit and hit that like up. Then go right back over and hit that bell. Then go right over a little bit more and share it. And drop a little bit down and leave your comment. Let me know what you think. Right? <laughs> Thank you guys for joining the fight. Down with Hydra and down with that dump. I know you guys heard that, right? I know you guys heard that. I heard it, so I know you had to hear it. So if you heard it, I heard it. You know what I mean? So this guy is coming. So we need y'all help to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark. So we can build our first defense to take these dogs down. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, 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 man. Where's your gear? How you gonna help me take down Hydra if you don't have the gear? It's all good, it's all good. Just hit that link down below. Go to our United Comedy Universe Armory store for you can get geared up for the fight. And I also heard that Hydra have a device that calls EMP attacks. But don't worry about that. We got you covered. Hello, I am Fenrir Moon. I have a quick question to ask you. Yes, you. Is your home protected from EMP attacks? If not, don't worry. I have good news for you. Because let's face it, huh? Let's face it, our home is our safe haven where we protect our families. But I'm here to tell you about a device that is called EMP Shield. EMP Shield is founded by Tim Carty in 2017. The EMP Shield is a military grade protection device that protects you from EMP attacks, light strike, even solar flares. Tim made this unique device for ordinary folks like you and I be able to actually protect our homes from these type of attacks. EMP Shield was tested at Keystone and passed all tests. EMP Shield not only protect your home, but it protect other devices that you might have. Like your vehicle, like your radio, like your solar panel, like your motorcycle, even watercrafts, even your generator. So hit that link down below for you can get shielded from these attacks because we all know once the lights go out the creepers crawlers come out so hit that link down below take it very seriously protect your family don't forget we are comics so you like the video duh that is why they're here because they like the video <laughs> awesome so you subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to hit that notification bell and also leave a comment down below. Also click one or two or three 
or one of these playlists is going to be put somewhere around here so you'll see them <laughs> to get more comic news. This has been another awesome video brought to you by United Comic Universe. Remember, we are comic.